All right, welcome back. Last time, we cleared out Andy's house. This time, we're gonna do Andy's neighborhood. The whole neighborhood. What he once risked his life to save me. I couldn't call myself his friend if I were going to do the same. I love the low quality VHS stuff, but I'm going to skip it because I don't want Disney to sue me because that would be bad. Not that I think that they would, but I mean, who knows, they're Disney, right? So this is the neighborhood, and it's definitely, uh, this level's a lot crazier than the last one. As you can see here, you got this renegade lawnmower just trying to kill us here. Might as well grab the battery since I took some damage in the last level. Anyway, now if, here's like a hint block, and he says that the soldier will surrender if you quickly stomp on the molehills that he is near. I don't know why this is like a thing, but apparently he's shooting up flares here. And you need to like stomp on him quickly. And then once you've stomped on all the molehills, you'll be able to rescue the guy. You freaking lawnmower! Get away from me. Get out of here. Nobody loves you. You have no friends. Alright. So just gotta keep an eye out for the soldier. Also, I go into first person mode a lot because the camera in this game is kind of fussy. And I found that going into first person mode is the best way to, like, I don't know, reconcile the camera and get it to face where you're facing. So, anyway, that's soldier number one. And the soldiers. It just so happens have to be happen to be the things that we need to collect five of in this level. So, as it also turns out, this is one of those levels that we actually won't be able to complete until we've got a power up from Mr. Potato Head. Specifically, we won't be able to beat the uh, beat RC without an extra speed boost, which we won't be getting for quite some time. But for right now, we're just gonna go around and try to do the uh, stuff with Ham. You know, we can do everything else in this level, so we might as well do it. Especially since we just went to the trouble of getting that first soldier. Now, I'm actually kind of debating, and here's soldier number two, just kind of out in the open, chilling on a swing set. I guess since I've started climbing the tree, I might as well climb the tree now. And it, actually, it turns out, Ham's up here too, by the way, but as it turns out, this tree happens to be the first major annoying climbing section in this game. This game is very vertical. To um, to put that more clearly, I guess you could say, there's a lot of climbing sections that are very nerve-wracking that could potentially see you fall and lose lots of progress on your big climb. And this is definitely the, uh, the first of them. See, the problem here is that... Oh, well, I guess we could get up here. Oh no! I guess that's more like a shortcut thing than anything. I'm glad I jumped off of it though. I forgot it did that. But we can climb up here maybe and then... Oh no, I guess we can't. See, what we've actually got to do is grab onto that bar right there. And I'm very glad I made that jump because I would have fallen a very long way if I hadn't. Ugh, and that's why I hated this game so much when I was a kid. Is that the jumps are very, very nerve-wracking. Everything about it is nerve-wracking. And this is only the first of many terrible, terrible jumps. Oh, that would be the first terrible one. Holy shit. Fortunately, there's no fall damage. But unfortunately, we've got to climb all the way back up. Climb, Buzz. Climb for your life. So how's everyone doing? Today is, uh, well, I guess it's still April. Actually, it's my, uh, my grand, my grandpa's birthday. I mean, I guess he's not, like, technically my grandpa, since he's not related by blood. He's my mom's stepdad, but he's more of a grandpa to me than my mom's real dad, so we'll leave it at that. Um, I don't know. I've got finals this week. I mean, this is basically my last week of school. I, he I hesitate to call it finals week. Because my finals for my Monday and Wednesday classes are actually next Monday on May 5th. So, oh my god, that guy almost knocked me off the platform. That would have been terrible. I don't know. I do have a paper due tomorrow, though. I mean, like, technically tomorrow in the sense that it's due on Tuesday. Tuesday night. 
Um, anyway, I should shut up and talk about this boss fight. The Zerg Kite. Which you can just kind of, uh... I guess go into first person and just shoot him down. And then he'll start chasing you after you shoot him. In the meantime, charge up. And then shoot him again. I guess your biggest hazard in this fight is really him knocking you off the platform more than anything. I should have charged up my laser. I'm charging my laser, just because it'll make it go faster. Anyway, so that's the boss fight. What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, my final paper. Yeah, so I have a political science paper due tomorrow. Ten pages, um, which actually in political science isn't, like, ridiculously long. Uh, it's for comparative politics, too, so there's a, a lot of stuff that I that I can talk about. Oh, there's nothing up there. There's just a battery. What am I wasting my time for? Jeez. Um, so, yeah, I could... You know, I already know what I'm writing about, so it's not like... I mean, I haven't started it, but it's not like I'm totally, totally hopeless or anything. Because I'm writing basically about developmental economics... And the uh, and I'm comparing Brazil and South Africa because those are good countries to compare. But I don't want to bore anyone here with my my academ academic endeavors. So <laughs> that was awkward. Try to say something that sounds smart and then you say it so badly that you end up sounding dumb, right? That ever happened to anyone before? Anyway, so we can knock this thing down and make a nice little shortcut. See, the other thing about a lot of the later levels is that they don't have nice little shortcuts for you in case you fall down or whatever. But anyway, we just reached the, uh, the ham limit here, I guess you could call it. But we want to get this soldier over here. Soldier number four. That's very good. We actually also just so happen to be in an area... Well, in the area where the last, like, the mystery token is which will be the last one that we can get here. But what you actually got to do is inflate this duck. Which is like, I don't know if there's really like an optimal strategy for doing this. You just got to jump on this pump a whole bunch. But anyway, now that we have a duck, we can, uh, I don't, ground pound on it, I guess. <laughs> that was kind of awkward, but whatever. We got the Pizza Planet token. And that would be Pizza Planet token number two, I guess. Since we haven't actually gotten the ham token yet. Or for that matter, we haven't gotten the uh, the soldiers yet either. I haven't mentioned it yet, but you can blow up these cars. They um, they take a little bit more. You can also, like, ground pound them or whatever. I mean, I'm not going to bother with it too much, just because that would take too much effort. But what we are going to do is go back up to ham. Because we want to see Ham, because he has a Pizza Planet token for us. <laughs> this bastard has a tenth of the Pizza Planet tokens in the game, and he's just not even gonna give them to you until you freaking give him what he wants. So you'd better have those 50 coins. Anyway, it just so happens that there's one more little area here in Andy's neighborhood that we have not yet visited. And that's over here, behind this trash can. And what we actually got to do now is kind of cool. You got to, like, knock this car down to the ground by stomping on these, like, switches where the jacks are. Zerg car, get out of my way, you asshole. Come on. Thank you. All right. Now that we've gotten care of things... Just gotten care of things? Jeez, man. You just need to stop playing your video games and go to bed. Just go to bed, man. Everything will be cool. So now we can, like, uh, ground pound on that. You'll fly all the way over here. I believe I can fly. And now you can get up on these uh, zip lines. Well, <laughs> that's incredibly bad. That was bad. Kids, don't try this at home. You'll probably wreck your laundry. You know, you'll make a big mess in your pants. But anyway, that's how you get to soldier number five. Which is good. And, oh, and here's the laser upgrade, by the way. You can actually use this to blow up these cars pretty easily, so... If you're struggling, you can always go there and get that first. Now, see, the thing is, I don't know if there's actually 100 coins in every level in this game. Because the only one that I even got close to getting 100 coins was this one. 
on my practice file. And I only got 99. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't think there's any sort of reward for it or anything. Wow, that actually went really quickly. I guess that's just because, you know, there's a... There were only four of the Pizza Planet tokens that we could get, but that's okay, because we've got a boss fight that we're going to do anyway. Yeah. And no, I won't save my game, because I don't want to spoil what's on my memory card. <laughs> like, I'm saying it because this is going to go up before the other thing. No, the other thing that I've been talking about is probably already up. When I refer to the other thing, you probably already know what the other thing is, but I just... I don't know why I don't feel like saying it. So anyway, here's the first boss battle. It's a plane. It's like a biplane. It's like a Spyro 3 plane. And you can just kind of shoot this thing. Uh, you can charge if you want. It's kind of hard to hit, especially since you only get one shot. <laughs> and Buzz will say some funny things like, Be careful with that! It's extremely dangerous! Which he just did. Oh, we got him with a charge shot there. Yeah, we just unloaded right in his face. Yeah. Oh man, they totally missed. I mean, this is not a hard fight at all. This is not even close to being difficult. I mean, like, look at how easily I'm doing this. I mean, I'm missing all of my charge shots. Don't get me wrong, but, I mean, there's a lot more to it than charge shots. And uh, that was it, I guess. That last charge shot actually connected. And you get another, like disturbing close-up of Buzz, and you get, like, a special bonus movie for beating the boss of three. No, we're just gonna keep on trucking through. As <laughs> that fucking Buzz is like, mm, uh -huh, yes, mm, indeed, bonus movie, I'm so cool, mm, yes. I mean, like, if you really want to see all this stuff, you just watch the movie, I mean, it's... So... I don't know how long this episode is, it's probably not very long, but next time on Let's Play Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue, apparently we're going to a construction yard. I will see you next time, thanks for watching.